Hey guys, look fuck here, and welcome to another FIFA 21 Icon Player Review. And today, guys, I'm going to be reviewing the 85 rated base icon Davor Suka. He is back in FIFA for the first time since FIFA 17. Of course, back in FIFA 17, he was a legend back then, and I think his legend cards was either 87 or 88 rated. I think it was 88 rated. And, uh, of course, I started doing player reviews back in FIFA 17. So, I wonder if I reviewed the Legend card of David Suka. I'm going to say I probably did because I did loads of Legend reviews back then. And um, that's what my channel was originally based on. Like, the majority of my videos at the start of FIFA 17 were, uh, were Legend player reviews. Uh, but now back as an icon, I did pick up his 85 rated card. Seven games played with him, five goals. Sorry, five of those games are completed with him. I'll explain uh, the two of the matches and what happened with them. Uh, six goals scored and one assist in Division 2 foot rivals. He did also, uh, or he does also have four star skills as well as four star weak foot. Getting into his in game stats, his main standout stats would be his 90 finishing, his 87 shot power, as well as his 89 dribbling, and finally his 86 composure. He does have, um, I did have the Hunter Camps that applied to, and then to player traits, he has the AI trait of chip shots and technical dribbler, and then also the outside foot shot as well, which isn't too bad. Into his icon profile, I don't know too much about Dovosuka, but goes on to say that he started his career course in Livis Lager. Um, which is now, it doesn't exist. There's lots of different countries that have come about since then, so like Croatia, I think Bosnia and Herzegovina is one, Slovenia, Slovakia, um, history with the log fog and geography with the log fog right there. Uh, and then also uh, it goes on to say he played for Dano Zagreb uh, and then in 1991 went to Sevilla uh, and of course, from then on, went to Real, Arsenal, West Ham, etc., etc. Anyway, in terms of other cards to use, uh, first of all, I'm a little bit. I think he must be the most expensive 85 rated icon. I'm pretty certain of that, which is quite interesting. And I think it says a lot about how good this card actually is because in game he plays a lot better than 85 rated cards. Uh, in the five, com well, yeah, I, I played seven games with him. Two people left at the start. One person had a bronze squad and was relegating himself, which is completely stupid. Another person just had like a bog standard gold team. Um, and just left, just decided not to even bother playing me. Another person that I came up against was the best player I've played so far in FIFA 21. I don't even think I got a shot on target in the whole game. Um, but on the whole, Davosuka was fantastic. I mean, six goals, one assist, and five completed matches. He's a great card. I think, obviously, an 85 rated by Conyon, you think of 85 rated, and you think 85, you know, it's a bit... You know, it's not great, you think, on paper, but actually he plays so much better than 85 rated card in the game. He's absolutely superb. Uh, for me, his finishing is absolutely class. 85 position, 90 finishing, 87 shot power. His, uh, his Hunter Cam style uh, takes his shot power up to 91, his positioning to 89, his finishing to 98, his volleys to 99 as well which is um, absolutely fantastic. But yeah, he's a class finisher, you know, on the left, on the right, superb. Four-star weak foot as well is obviously very good. Uh, I, I couldn't fault his return. And also Division 2, it's it's tough, Division 2. I'm going to say that right now. Obviously, I'm, I'm glad to be playing Division 2. I'm really happy with what I'm doing this year. Um, I've, you know, made the decision that I don't want to play for champions. I'd rather just sit there and play Division Rivals and and, and spend more time doing reviews this year than, than worrying about for champions. I'm not bothered about that game, to be quite honest, guys. I, re I really am not. But, um, but, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, you know, his finishing on Suka was just top, top class. Uh, his dribbling, again, very solid. 86 agility, 85 balance, uh, 89 dribbling, 87 ball control was solid. Uh, he feels nice and smooth on the ball. Um, being able to use like the fake shot of him is absolutely fantastic as well. His pace of thought was fine. Uh, I mean, the Hunter Councils actually take both of his pace sets into the into the uh, into the low 90s. I didn't feel like he felt as quick as as that. I mean, what would it felt like to me when using him was that it felt like he actually did have 86 pace, and that actually the Hunter Council that I had applied to him gave him no benefits. He felt like he had 86 pace, if that kind of makes sense. Rather than, I mean, obviously the Hunter Cam style would, would probably take his pace overall on paper to what, like 92 or 93? It, it didn't feel like that. It felt like he had 86 pace. So he was relatively quick. You know, he can certainly beat opposition defenders and, and sprint past them, but he's not like the quickest player that I've ever used at the same time. So uh, so that was kind of interesting. His passing isn't too bad either. I was probably unlucky not to get more than one assist in the five games. Um, I would only play him as a striker. I'd never play him as a cam. Uh, you know, 82 short passing, 79 vision. It's good to link up with the other attackers. You know, having those stats, of course, it's a nice other, uh, you know, benefit to have. Uh, Force our skill moves as well is obviously pretty decent to have on a striker. On the whole, he's a, he's a solid card. Um, I, I do think he's maybe slightly too expensive. Uh, and, and I think the reason for that is because, 
he's a returning, you know, icon. He used to be a decent legend card back in the day. So I think that's kind of hyped him up a little bit this year for all of his cards that come out. So I think that's, you know, for example, if he came back last year, I think the, I think this year he wouldn't be as expensive. I think all the new icons that are coming, even the Vidic, like, and Vidic's card is very average, to be fair, but Vidic 85 card is relatively expensive because he's a new icon, and I think the same is also there with Suga, so I do think he's slightly overpriced, if I'm totally honest. If someone was to ask me the question, though, who was a better player, Baggio 91 or Suga 85? I'd probably say Baggio 91. Not by much, though. I thought Suka was fine. I think if you want to be able to buy the card, you're a fan of him. You, you know, you used to like using him back in FIFA 17. You want to use him again. By all means, go and buy him um, because he's a very, very good card. But what I'm saying is if someone's making the decision right there, maybe they don't have that special connection to, to Davos Suka and they're asking, who do I want, 91 Baggio or 85 Suka? I probably would pick the 91 Baggio, but there's not too much between it. But on the whole, he was still a solid card too. Well, the only thing I would say is I do think he's maybe slightly overpriced. But on the whole, a good reliable car but anyway guys hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you guys later